action from Group A of the Champions Hockey League now, featuring two teams who need to get into the winning habit. Red Bull Salzburg and Banska Bistretza both lost in their opening matches. The Austrians heavily to Tampere 6-1. Bistretza found Wolfsburg in a grisly mood as they got better at the seven-goal encounter a few days ago. So to the ice arena in Salzburg, where the crowd had to be patient for a breakthrough. 18 minutes and 25 to be precise. Alexander Rokenwald finishing off good work from Dominic Heinrich and Julian Bruet. It took a while. So it was worth watching and worth replaying again as it was very well taken. Nice little dipsy doodle in front of there. Like buses, you wait an age for one and then two goals come along in quick succession. Brant Harris this time, Daniel Belser, the provider. Looking comfortable now. Crowd getting more animated. Goals coming thick and fast. Two goals in the second as well, both for the Austrian side. Alexander Rokenwald getting greedy now, his second of the night, and an unassisted goal at that. Certainly the kind of goal that forwards like to savour. Do it all by yourself. Well, maybe not all by himself, but the referee decided that, well, assists weren't required. So, Alexander, it's down to you. Well, Alexander Sian didn't want to be left out, so he was on hand to score number four. The engine room this time, Julian Bruet once again, and this time Mario Huber. Takes him carrying that puck sometimes, but it's worth it when he finished like that. By now, some of the needless penalties Miss Fritzscher had taken were taking their toll. A power play goal inevitable, and there it was, 12 minutes into the third period. Ryan Duncan from Brant Harris and Matthias Tratnig. All involved, cameraman nearly fell off his perch, crowd getting excited. All in all, a very satisfactory night for Salzburg. They can now dream of the knockout stage, the visitors still have it all to do. And two big games coming up next week. Here it finished 5-0 to the Austrians.